Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create segmented pyramid in PowerPoint. The segmented pyramid you will learn to create looks like this. You can create some useful diagrams like this one where you can actually add your text here and even, even you can replace uh, this text with a picture and make this whole diagram look very beautiful. You can use this for food pyramid diagram or any of the other conceptual pyramid diagrams you want to create. Let us see how to create this segmented pyramid diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. Going to a new slide is very simple. Press Ctrl M and you will get the option to create a new slide or you press this to create a new slide. The first step is to create the pyramid. Instead of uh, creating it manually one by one, we will insert a smart art shape. So first we will go to insert and let's go to smart art and in smart art you will find the option called pyramid pick that one up and we will select this basic pyramid click on that one and press OK you can choose to have the number of uh, tiers if you want I mean for us we are going to use four levels of pyramid so this is what is going to be the thing that we're going to use once we do this it is important to convert this into shape so go over here and go to convert and convert to shapes now the next step is to ungroup this because this whole thing is one group we don't want it that way so group ungroup and there we are we have individual pieces of auto shapes that are arranged beautifully as a pyramid the next step is to cut these into different segments so that is what we're going to do now and it's very simple first let us try and uh, make a copy of this so I'm going to hold my control tab and I'm going to take only the third level or from the bottom the second level and I have it here let me use a rectangle to cut this into two segments so I'm going to use in auto shapes menu the rectangle the simple rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle here now this is the width of the rectangle that I want to use and this is the amount of gap that I'm going to have between the two segments you can have it either wider or you can have it narrower depending on your requirement I need to ensure that this piece is positioned right in the center so for this I'm going to press this one and select this one and I'm going to align it so arrange align and align center now you can be sure that this rectangle is right in the center of this piece now that we have this select both of them together go to format and merge shapes and in PowerPoint 2013 you have this fabulous uh, option called fragment so click on that one and now you have these in different uh, pieces now let me do control Z and what if you don't have this fragment option you can always go in for the subtract option available in uh, PowerPoint 2010 so let me use the subtract option or even something like uh, the combine option I can use any of that let us let me create the subtract option first and the only thing about the subtract option is this whole thing is one piece you have to then cut this into two pieces so for which once again I'm going to use uh, the rectangle and I'm gonna draw something like this one to cover the portion that I don't want and I'm going to select this piece first and then while holding the shift tab I'm going to select the rectangle and then once again go to format and press subtract and there we have the pieces ready and to create the other piece all you need to do is to press ctrl D to create a duplicate and um, go once again to home arrange rotate and flip horizontally and you can place it here so it's 
slightly more tedious when you want to use it um use when you want to use powerpoint 2010 instead of powerpoint 2013 okay now let us say you don't have powerpoint 2010 or powerpoint 2013 and you're working with powerpoint 2007 now how do you cut this shape in these pieces into two segments if you are only using powerpoint 2007 it's very simple let me do that again now take this one here and once again i am going to create um, that rectangle this is purely for demonstration purposes because i find it very convenient to use powerpoint 2013 anyway select this select this as i showed you again align align center now the step that you're going to do is go to shape fill select this rectangle and go to shape fill and fill it in black and remove outline now select this and this piece right click copy or you can actually have cut and now paste this as a picture so this is the option that i'm going to use if you uh, want to use paste special option you can place it as png and click okay now this is done the next step is to remove this bit for which let me go to format and color and set transparent color you will find this option in powerpoint 2007 uh, under set transparent color just search under the option under format and you will find set transparent color click on the black portion and this is cut now of course the next step is because this is a picture you need to crop it to the relevant portion and things like that and it's again very simple the key thing is to find a way to cut the segment cut this into two segments so that is how we are you can do it in 2007 2010 2013 uh, now that we have seen all the options available let us uh, complete this diagram very quickly i am going to take this one and uh, cut this into two pieces arrange align align center go to format go to merge shapes go to fragment and now i am going to keep this piece here and keep this piece here and the one in the middle i am going to select both of them and while holding the shift tab i'm going to select this one and this one now all that is left is the one at the back so i'm going to press delete now i'm going to do the exact same thing to create this one as well and here there is a small little trick here and the trick is how do we divide this equally into three segments for this i'm going to do, do one thing i'm going to place the one at the left most corner another one at the rightmost corner and place two of them in the middle because that makes it three segments now i'm going to select all of these remove the selection in the middle by holding the shift tab and then take it out so all we have done is to select these four uh, rectangles and arrange align align top just to be correct and arrange align and distribute horizontally now these are distributed horizontally now all you need to do is to remove this we don't need these two extreme rectangles now once again select all of them go to format merge shapes fragment and there we are the various segments are available here now place this on top of that then this one on top of that and this one here and just to be sure that they are all properly distributed go again to home arrange align distribute horizontally now there is one piece at the back remove this and there we are the segmented diagram is ready remove these pieces and you can color them the way you want to complete the diagram so that is how you create the segmented pyramid diagram let me show you some example templates of the variations of pyramid diagram that you can use in your business presentations and these examples are taken from our powerpoint ceo packs the first example is this one which is nothing but a three layered pyramid and we have used this kind of text boxes as call outs for individual layers 
Let me take another example template from PowerPoint CEO Packs and here we have done a cone diagram which is actually nothing but a 2D image where we have given a 3D feel by using the gradients in a very intelligent way. So you use, you mark each of the stages and they come on animation. The, the good thing about using a ready-made pack off the shelf solution like PowerPoint CEO pack is all the animation, all the effects, all the colors, everything is already done. So you, you just have to replace the sample text. The work becomes very easy. This is another example. And here we have the division of a triangle into four segments. And this is how it is done. Another example is this one where we have done not a cone diagram per se, a pyramid diagram at four levels. These are the various ways the various levels are marked. If you are a busy business presenter, as I mentioned earlier, you don't have to do all this from scratch. You can go for PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. They have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating segmented pyramid diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, watch videos, read articles, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.